All right, so you've got a flat tire on your four-wheeler, your tractor, whatever, you know. Um, I'm going to show you how to find the leak in it. A lot of you guys already know how to do this. For those of you that don't, this is for you. So I've got this 1985 Honda TRX 125 that I've been working on. Uh, I've got it running and everything. I've just got to do some final things to it. Got to do an oil change and put a new uh, fuel pet cock on it. It's uh, leaking right around there. And Honda did not make that thing serviceable because there's rivets in it instead of screws. So uh, I bought a new one, got it in. I just got to replace it. But I'm going to knock this wheel off of here and uh, I'm going to show you how to find the leak in it. All right, guys, so I've got the uh, tire aired up again. And uh, basically what you want to do, you can air it up with a hand pump or an air compressor if you have one, either way. But you want to get a squirt bottle full of soapy water. You can use dish soap or degreaser or whatever, preferably hot water from the sink, though. Um, you can get these little bottles at Walmart for like a dollar. I even wrote on there soapy water because that's what I use it for. Um, <clears throat> now, a couple things you want to you do. You want to shake that up a little bit. You can lay the rim flat, okay, and you want to squirt a bunch of soapy water around the bead where the tire meets the wheel. Like that. Okay, and what you got to do is kind of sit and watch for uh, air bubbles coming up. Doesn't look like anything's coming up. So, what you also want to do is squirt some water inside that valve stem. Several times I've had that burn me. I couldn't find a leak, and the actual valve stem core was bad. Uh, they, it's just a tiny little valve. You can actually get replacements at Walmart and they, there's a little tool. It looks like a, almost like a little fork like that. And you stick it in there and unscrew it and it'll come out. Um, and it's spring loaded and they have a little rubber seal on them. Well, that rubber seal goes bad after a while or it can go bad and, uh, it can make air leak out of the tire. You're one of my neighbor's squeaky brakes. Anyway, <clears throat> so you want to do that, just keep spraying all over the whole tire, okay? Unfortunately, I found the leak on this one, and uh, there's a big spot on here where the tire is dry rotted. It's probably from it just sitting with no air in it. And, yep. Uh, I could show you right here. See right there. Are my fingers pointing. I hope you guys can see that. There's air leaking out right there. There's not a whole lot you can do about dry rot cracks um, because if it's a nail hole or a screw or a piece of wood or something went into the tire, you can plug it, which is what I was going to do in this video. But in this situation, you basically, you kind of have three choices. You can try to plug it, but it's going to tear probably sooner than later and the plugs aren't going to hold. That'd be one choice. I wouldn't recommend it. Your second choice is you can buy a tube. You could probably get a tube for this size. This one's really small off this bike. Probably get one for about five to ten dollars somewhere, maybe even cheaper on the internet. But 
I don't prefer tubes on ATVs and uh, side-by-sides because in my experience, they just don't hold up as well. Um, that, that's one reason, you know, you're putting a lot of weight. A four wheeler is heavy. It's got a lot of weight on it. Plus your body weight and, uh, a tube is really thin. They can get pinched. Anything can happen. You know, they're just a lot easier to puncture than a tire. Now, the good thing about a tube is that they're cheap. Um, you know, you can keep buying them over and over again. The bad thing about them is they're a pain to install and take out every time you need to replace one and they can puncture easy. So uh, your third option for fixing this would just be get a new tire, which is what I'll probably end up doing. Uh, this is a build on a budget, so to speak. I'm not trying to dump a bunch of money into this bike. Um, I'm probably already about 475 into it and uh, I ain't going to get much higher than that. So um, I may look around on eBay or Amazon or something and see if I can find a cheap set of front tires for this thing because uh, holes I can deal with, I'll plug those, but I'm not going to deal with dry rot cracks. That can, uh, that can ruin your day. I don't, I'm going to take this thing uh, wild pig hunting and it's about the place I'm going is about two and a half hours away from my house. And I do not want to get out in the middle of nowhere and uh, get a flat tire because you'll be pushing the thing back to the truck when that's not going to be fun. So anyway, those are basically your three options. Uh, plug, tube, or replace the tire. I'm going to replace it.